this is the Provoke Prawn, and I'm moving to a motorized sit-stand desk, and I want to talk about why and why you should consider it too, and just to show off how to do it. Now, I've done a video recently on the Herman Miller embodied chair, which I've been using for six months, and how it's been causing me back pain. And one of my solutions is, rather than purchasing a new chair, to move to a motorized sit-stand desk that will allow me to both sit and stand throughout the day, changing positions when I feel the need. Now, this is obviously an expense that you didn't necessarily want when you've already spent a lot of money on a chair, but it is excellent because it does offer some convenience. I spend a lot of time sitting at my desk and I'm fully aware that that's not good for you and you shouldn't really do that. Scientific research shows that it's better to stand and to move around more during the day. So switching between the two positions is obviously really convenient. And you can see I've got this motorized setup here which allows me to adjust the height. And by the way, that's really fantastic because you can obviously also adjust it when you're sitting to various different positions. So not only adjust your chair, but now also adjust your desk. Now I'll talk about why and how I've done this and also the move. So this is my original setup. This is a set of IKEA drawers with a three meter long custom cut worktop on top of it from Worktop Express, which I purchased a while ago. A really long and heavy desk. And the reason for that is I want to put my PC in there, but I also have a 49 inch monitor and I also need storage space for other things. So I was balancing that desktop on top of some IKEA drawers, which are obviously rammed full of various things of nonsense. And then I have the convenience of this setup and a really nice sort of look and feel to it. You can basically see I've got the same desk twice in this room, but one shorter than the other. And they're slightly different <laughs> worktops, but that's a different point. But what I found is that the combination of sitting a lot and this Herman Miller chair that I spent a lot of money on, which just isn't helping, is just causing me problems. So what I'm doing is I cleared off my desk which led to a lot of cable mess and a lot of mess and chaos in the room. But you can see the sheer size of the thing. And then I purchased myself a FlexiSpot motorized setup. Now, FlexiSpot sells a number of motorized desks that you can purchase, but I wanted to keep my own desktop. And so what I've done here is I've researched and purchased a motorized setup from FlexiSpot. And I believe this is called the E8, and I'll link to that in the description, because it's the best that you can get. And that's because it supports up to 120 kilograms. Obviously, that three meter desk that you saw, which I'm going to cut down to two meters, but still is very heavy and thick and substantial. So I wanted to make sure it had good support, especially when it's going to have a large monitor and a heavy PC on top of it, as well as other things. So I built this motorized bit. We cut the desk down, chopped off a meter off of it. So it's only two meters long now instead. And then attached the legs to the bottom. I've shortened the process. It took a few hours to do, obviously. But what you'll see is a highly adjustable desk, which you can adjust into quite a tall setup. Too high, in fact. But I'll leave the adjustable specs in the description so you can find out the various height levels. But you can see that you can adjust it into a position where it's incredibly high, which might be useful if you're doing crafting or something on it, I suppose. If you want to do it at eye level, could be useful for video capture as well, potentially. But for me personally, it's just going to be day-to-day -day use of gaming, working, video editing and other things. Basically having it so I can adjust it freely. So now I've had to move the drawers out to the side so they're no longer there. And I don't have quite as much storage space on the desk. But that's fine because it still fits my PC, as you can see. And also the monitor and a couple of mic stands when I need them. So I have that convenience. I can sit in game or I can then press some buttons and adjust it into the standing position in game. It's height adjustable with the controls, as you've seen, so you can switch between whatever positions you want. And you can also set manual positions for both of them so you can easily go between it. So highly recommend this option and also an anti-fatigue mat under your feet to stop you being in pain. There are a couple of other highlights that I've not mentioned here. Obviously, you'll notice there are a lot of things on my desk, including the mic stand, lights and a camera. And one of the things that you can see is that basically I've set it up so that everything moves as the desk moves. And I found this actually really convenient because you'll notice the camera's on a stand at the rear, for example. Usually it's pointed at my face in the sitting position. But now I found that if I adjust the height of the desk, I can obviously still have that camera in line with me and then be able to talk to the camera while standing up as well, which has been really neat. Little highlights to it, although you do need to think about the wiring. So there you go. That is hopefully an interesting insight into how to set up a sit-stand desk. 
Let me know in the comments your thoughts. Thanks for watching. You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.